Hey guys, what's up? This is Tepix, and today I'm going to be doing another uh, map showcase for you guys on CSGO. This is going to be awesome. This is actually a really good one. Sorry about that, by the way. But this is actually a really, really, really good map. You guys can easily find it in your crosshair. This is a very popular one. So if you guys have ever seen this map, you guys probably have actually, but don't know the name of it. Here you guys go. You guys will easily be able to go in, you know, and uh, have some fun. And, uh, tune your crosshair. It is huge. It is amazing. Anyways, I will show you guys, uh, what it's like. And I will be right back when it's loaded. Alright, hey guys. I'm back. And we are in the map. Um, hold on. Let me just do something real quick. Let me go in here. Exec. Auto. Exec. There we go. Okay, so I got my nice little FOV there. Um. No idea what that is. Oh, that's sick. Okay, yeah, it's awesome. Anyways, so as you guys can see, this is the map right here. That's some sponsorships right there. Now this, I think is really cool. Hold on, I'm just gonna quickly save my uh, crosshair here. Um, Let's save it to that. There we go, just so I can switch back. As you guys can see, they got all the pro players crosshairs here. And that's cool. So say that uh, I just wanted to use the pro's crosshair, Kerrigan, there we go. And now I have his uh, crosshair, Apex, there we go got his you know got his and keep in mind though guys everyone's crosshairs are gonna look different um depending upon the resolution you're playing on any everything you're playing on like uh four four by three um anything like that you are going to be changing up the resolution a little bit so i am playing full screen windowed right now normally i play uh 10 24 by 768 so uh yeah my my crosshair is obviously uh as you guys can see, it looks really bad here, but it looks a lot better when you're playing in my resolution. So I can, uh, I'll leave that down below. I'll leave my crosshair down below if anyone plays a 1024 by 768. It is really good. Um, it was just fan made ones. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine playing with that. But, um, there we go. All right. Um, so as you guys can see, you can do this to check out to see, uh, what your crosshair would look like on the map dust too, how bright it would be. So anyways, I'll give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do everything. So first of all, you guys can, uh, out. let's start out with this. So you guys can change it to crosshair style. Zero is obviously this. Uh, very ugly, don't use that. Next is this, also don't use. Now this, you can use, this is, um, it kind of like, change. whenever you're moving, it changes like how, uh, big it is. So like, um, see? It's most accurate. It's the most like small when you're standing still like this whereas when you're moving and jumping it gets way bigger So there's that that's actually a good one three makes it so that it just does this whenever you're moving it gets like really big it changes quite a bit um, Four complete static shoot as much as you want doesn't do anything blah, 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 blah. Um, and then five I really like this one it gets bigger when you shoot so okay hold on let me just an AK here to show you guys as you guys can see it's still and then you do this and then you can control the recoil just by bringing that down and like kind of lining it up uh, lining that top crosshair up or the top part of the crosshair up with uh, the body and it will normally end up hitting the head which is pretty sick so if you guys want to fine-tune it here's the size so do that to change the size as you guys can see gets bigger gets smaller um so okay let's go back there bring it up a little bit i'll make it a bit bigger so you guys can see it thickness you guys can change the thickness <laughs> yeah so you guys can change how thick it is um i don't have it too skinny don't have it. again do whatever works for you though um you can change the gap like that or down like that so that is cool you can change the outline whether you want an outline or not on off as you guys can see there's kind of that little black outline you guys might be able to see it better there and you turn it off like that i play with that off alpha this is how visible it is please set it to the max don't don't set it low it's just how visible it is so as you guys will see if i make it zero it just like disappears uh plus 10 you can like barely see it so just keep that at 255 um, and then dot that like changes whether or not you have a dot. So that is cool Um, I'm going to make the gap a little bit wider here Just so you guys can see the middle and then see now I have a dot. So this is got dynamic ga gap Dynamic gap. I think this is something that's very um underrated 
it changes the gap based on the gun. So, okay. Uh, based on the gun that you're using. So, to show this, I am going to make the size a bit smaller. Actually, I will go to my, my own crosshair. As you guys can see, look at this, okay? So, if I... Um... Go here, and I turn dia dynamic gap on. Okay, see how when I switch guns that changes. I think that's very good because it kind of shows like where you can spray from. Like, you you got you kind of got to fine tune it a little bit, but it's definitely very helpful, and I think that is good. It shows you like, um, where the bullet can kind of spread to. So I I definitely think that's good. It's it's basically where it might land on the first shot, like how accurate how accurate it might be on the first shot so that's definitely very good um anyways yeah guys so there's that I'm gonna turn that off and i'm gonna size this a little bit thickness and all that's good and then increase the gap a little okay cool um so you can generate it right there i wouldn't do that anyways guys you can create your own you guys can go with the pros and then to test it just go out here and then some bots will spawn you know you can just shoot out all the bots and it is definitely quite cool um yeah and then you can also go over here Oop. <laughs> and then shoot all those guys go for some long-range headshots do whatever y'all want so that is about it for this video you can see kind of the recoil patterns there you can do whatever you want yeah though so that's only quite cool you can clear it there and final thing is you can change the color so if you want to make it black it shows up like that that shows up like that two best colors i'd say are green and this pinkish type color i think those are the two best colors for you to use but you guys can use whatever again you feel comfortable with blue also isn't bad as you can see Th these are the main colors that the pros use so you can see kind of like the best most common colors there again just do whatever works for you anyways i will show you guys my crosshair real quick there we go that's everything right there i will also have it in the description below anyways if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe you can change the background right here by the way if you want depending upon what map you play on the most you can also change that and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching as always i hope you guys enjoyed this map don't forget to uh check the link in the description for the download and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and look at look at how cool a new character model is that that's pretty sick good job elf bye